In this episode of The Be Bold Show, we go behind the scenes into the movie industry to see how some of the favorite people we love to see on the big screen work on a day in the life of an actor. Then we meet Dropifi, a three-person tech startup nominated as one of Africa's top 20 startups by Forbes magazine. We'll tell you exactly what they do and the people behind it. But before all of that, we will meet Tanko Ibrahim, a man who embodies what it means to be a social activist. Here are your hosts, Crystal Jean and Sarah Mkutini. Welcome to the Be Bold Show. Now, your week isn't complete without watching the show, so here we are. Bringing education and building opportunity for leadership and development, that is what we stand for. Now, no one fits that bill better than Tanko Ibrahim, who's a social activist who's done so much, including promoting Ghana's tourism and promoting the eight millennium development goals and so much more. Let's take a look at Tanko Ibrahim. I'm sitting here today with Tanko Abdelai Ibrahim, and we are sitting at the ever memori- the memorial of Kwame Nkrumah. Now, what does Kwame Nkrumah mean to you? Kwame Nkrumah, as a young person that appreciates African culture, as a young person that embraces Pan-Africanism, as a young person that believes so much in African, I can't run away from my ideals and vision of Kwame Nkrumah. And how does he affect your life? His vision alone, what he stands for alone, I'm connected with his vision as a political leader, as an Pan Africanist, as an actor. I'm connected so much with Nkrumah. How do you pick your projects? Like, I, I have always stand for empowerment for young people to realize who they are so that they can contribute to community development and. Uh, help in the nation building. Over the years, all the projects I've done, I realized that one key thing that ran through all the projects is empowerment. And I believe that every young person, that is what we need. We need to be empowered. And that is what all the projects that I've done seek to do, to empower young people, to realize who they are, and to be able to contribute to community development effectively. How do you separate, in that sense, politics from your social activism? Or is it actually all just really one thing that you're doing? It's very important to also know that, before even ask that, answer that question, social activists and politicians, there is a thin line that divides the two of them. What is the thin line here? Social activists look at it from the real point of view. Politician also, is his, his mandate or his duty is to develop maybe policies and programs that will mitigate uh, more or less to bring uh, development to a community. And that is what social activists stand for. If, 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 uh, if I have something or I want to do something in my community, with my strength, no. I need the politician, the politician also need me. Because at the end of the day, the politician can't come down and do it. So the politician must provide the platform, the facility, the opportunity, so that I, as a social activist, I can also fix my work in there. So you can't separate the two of them entirely. No, they need the uh, social activists, and the social activists also need the politician. If your father is in pain or your mother is in pain, what happens is that automatically you get connected to what whatever she's going through. You feel it, and if you don't take care, you can't continue eating the food. And that is exactly what we want to preach the message to the work sharing. Just a kid is, is more or less to say there are other people who don't have it to wear. So your old clothes, whatever you don't have, bring it so that we give it to the less privileged one. Recently we did one last month at Oda. 
I, I was, in fact, I was not part of the team. But from the reports we gathered from the team that went to Oda, was that even the chief at that community went addressed to her. And he said, my God, where are we? If a chief, a whole father of a community, what to where is a problem? He's even asking, when are we coming back? Then we have the Passover book on. Where it's an educational initiative where your old books, whatever, whatever books you have, that you don't need them anymore, that you don't read them anymore, print it. There are other kids, other young people that need those books to self-educate themselves. Reading is a problem in this country. So we want to encourage reading through Passover book on. And it's been led by one of our able team, fantastic team that I've ever met ever, ever since I started my social activist work. So when will you personally be satisfied? When you are old, an old man, what, when will you, what will you be satisfied with? What will you be looking back at? At the age of 120 years, <laughs> sitting down in my chair, relaxed chair, I should see young people smiling all the time. As simple as that. And that was Tanko Ibrahim. What an inspiring young man. He's involved, he's passionate, and most of all, he is driven to make a change in Ghana. We hope that he gets very far and that he always remembers us as we do him. Now, let's take a break and we shall be back with more. When was the last time you went to the Be Bold Facebook page? Well, don't forget to visit our page because we have a very special treat for you. Remember, the 999th person to like the page wins this beautiful hamper from Lane Organics with handmade natural treats for your skin. Still to come on the Be Bold Show, lights, camera, action. How does a Ghanaian actress remain inspired in the Ghanaian film industry? We'll find out in the day in the life of an actor. Then we will meet Dropifi, a three-person tech startup nominated as one of Africa's top 20 startups by Forbes magazine. We'll tell you exactly what they do and the people behind it. Stay with us.